How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Saturday Bible Study. <clears throat> and let's get on with it. Glad you're here. All one of you. or two. <laughs> there was a believer in Joppa named Tabitha, which is Greek for Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. About this time, she became ill and died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in an upstairs room. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby at Lydda. So they sent two men to beg him, please come as soon as possible. So Peter uh, returned with them. And as soon as he arrived, they took him upstairs to the room that was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and other clothes Dorcas had made for them. But Peter asked them all to leave the room and he knelt and prayed, turning the body turning to the body and said, get up, Tabitha. So again, all of the apostles' miracles were basically the same thing Jesus did because they were an extension. But once after the apostles, then these miracles stopped because the Bible stopped. And only when you're a figure that's living in the Bible in real time do miracles take place? Once the Antichrist gets his right eye wound, we will be living in the word of God in real time. We'll be living in the book of Revelation. The earth will then become supernatural. But it's extremely supernatural at what is known as the abomination of desolation. That's after World War III when he seemingly has returned from the dead to put an end to World War III and to save the earth. It's Satan possessing Trump's body. Anyway, I digress, as they say. But Peter asked them all to leave. Okay, get up, Tabitha. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up, gave her his hand, helped her up. Then he called the widows and all the believers, and, pre and he presented her to them alive. And news spread through the whole town, and many believed in the Lord. Again, because of the false prophet, the Antichrist, seemingly have risen from the dead, all will believe in the Antichrist. That's what it means when it says, God shall send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. That's the lie that he returned from the dead along with the lying signs and wonders, the miracles that the false prophet, remember he makes fire flash down from heaven to the earth in the sight of man. That's Revelation 13, 13. So the earth will, of course, be supernatural. Anyway, and Peter stayed a long time in Joppa, living with Simon, a tanner of hides. <clears throat> we'll, read the, we'll read the end in the King James. And it was known throughout all of Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. And it came to pass that he tarried many days in Joppa with one Simon, a tanner. Let's continue on in Daniel's end times prophecy, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Therefore, Daniel went into air. And Monday, we will cover how it's the end times prophecy. Therefore, Daniel went into Arioch, whom the king had ordained to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus unto him, destroy not the wise men of Babylon. Bring me before the king, and I will show the king the interpretation. Then Arioch brought in Daniel before the king in haste and saying, thus unto him, I have found a man of the captains of Judah that will make known unto the king the interpretation. Then Arioch Excuse me. And the king answered and said unto Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, to the Babylonians, Art thou able to make known to me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof? Daniel answered in the presence of the king, and he said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers, the Chaldeans, show unto you, O king. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and maketh known. That will make known unto you, King Nebuchadnezzar, what shall be in the latter days. See, it's, this is going to be an end times prophecy. Thy dream and thy visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. 
That's for you, King. Your thoughts came into your mind while you were sleeping. What will come to pass hereafter? And he that revealeth secrets maketh known to thee. Through me, my God is going to show you what is going to come to pass, basically, is what Daniel is saying. I'm glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.